You know, what bothers me with social media is when you have false teachers of the Bible teaching shenanigans. Who don't know what they talking about. But yet, social media is like YouTube. You know, these people have a, a lot of subscribers, a lot of views. The comment sections is blown out with everybody agreeing to the shenanigan because they lost. So basically, it's like, you know, it's a bunch of channels on here blind leading the blind. And it bothers me. It really does. We have... Uh, one of the channels out, out there, one out of uh, thousands of channels out there that spread false teachings of the word of God, who goes by the name, the channel name is Good Hope, who has 21, 8,000 subscribers, 4.2 thousand views, and 300, 320 thumbs up on the, uh, the title channel, uh, How to Be Born Again. The name of this uh, of the, uh, video basically is How to Be Born Again. The name of his whole channel is Good Hope. And like I say, he has 21, uh, 8,000 subscribers, 4.2 thousand views. And on this particular uh, video, he has 320 thumbs up, which is ridiculous. And I say like maybe 300... Okay, I'll just say 320, but it's probably more people coming or whatever. And basically, most of them, if not all, agree to his teachings on this channel. And I was basically the only one who tried to teach and, you know, spread the truth on this channel. Now, usually when someone like me who may speak the truth and, and bust somebody's channel out or whatever, and you don't, you go on there and... That person that made a comment may not have any thumbs ups or any replies or anything. For the most part, that person is probably blocked from everybody else or from the channel itself. Or, you know, it's just, I think for the most part, it's just blocked from people responding. But I went on there to try to get the more information that I needed to represent to present his channel to this channel by teaching I went on there and it was no you know thumbs up thumbs down or whatever you know what I'm saying so I had already kind of figured that he probably got it my uh comment blocked because that's usually what happens you know but it's cool but I have to teach anyway you know what I'm saying you know I have to teach so it's up to you if you want to look into the truth and accept it it's up to you now, what really got to his his whole teaching on it was just disturbing, but what really did it was when he he made two statements within this video, when he first started off about how to be born again, he said the Bible is extremely clear. There was a, a major issue with that statement. I, I I had a major I clinched when he said that. He said the Bible is extremely clear. If the Bible is extremely clear, then why don't everybody understand it? Why don't everybody agree to it? And why didn't he understand it? If it was extremely clear. Then he made another one towards the end. Stating that once you're saved, you are always saved. Another false statement about the gospel. The whole, I, I just, I really clinched, man. You know what I'm saying? Watching this whole video. I think it was like maybe, what, I think nine minutes. Five or nine minutes. I don't know. It was short. But it, it felt long listening to that. Because it's lies. The video is lie. Like I said, his name is Good Hope. The name of the channel is Good Hope. And the, and the name of the video is How to Be Born Again. 21,000 subscribers, 4.2 thousand views, and 320 thumbs up. And everybody made comments agreed to it, which is highly disturbing. And it brings back to what I was stating about the vast majority are uh, not getting it. 
The statement that he made about that the Bible is extremely clear is a lie. Luke 8.10 Unto you it is given to know the mysteries of the kingdom of God. Unto you it is given to know the mysteries of the kingdom of God. The mysteries of God's word. Unto you it is given. That is speaking to his called ones. Hallelujah. That is not speaking to the vast majority. That is not speaking to everybody on earth. Because if it was spoken for everyone on earth, then it wouldn't be a mystery. Huh? Unto you it is given to know the mysteries of the kingdom of God. Going back to him saying the Bible is extreme and clear is disturbing because when God said unto you the mystery is given to you to know the king the mystery of the kingdom of God, that explains how he is lying because he did not know the mystery of how to be born again into the kingdom. He lied. The Bible is not extremely clear. And you are not born again in the snap of a finger because you got baptized. Or because you went to church Sunday. He said in the snap of a finger when you do all of that you are born again. On earth. And then towards the end he said once you are saved you are always saved. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Let's go. Ezekiel 18. Let's go. I gave you the other scripture about the mystery. Let's go to Ezekiel. We have some study going on up in here. Ezekiel chapter, and then we're going to read 24 through 26 verses. Okay, 24. But if a righteous person turns from their righteousness and commits sin and does the same detestable things the wicked person does will they live none of the righteous things that person has done will be remembered because of the unfaithfulness they are guilty of and because of the sins they have committed they will die Oh, hallelujah. Let's go. Hebrews 6. I don't want to lose y'all. We on the subject of him saying once saved is always saved. I'm tired of the lies. We got to put these people who's spreading lies of the gospel on blast. Hebrews 6, 4 through 6. We got to put them on blast. They liars. They're going to send everybody else to hell, to Gihana. Let's go. It is impossible for those who have once been enlightened, who have tasted the heavenly gift, who have shared in the Holy Spirit, who have tasted the goodness of the Word of God, and the powers of the coming age and who have fallen away to be brought back to repentance <laughs> to 
to their loss. They are crucifying the Son of God all over again and subjecting him to public disgrace. Look it up. That's Hebrews 6, 4 through 6. I got other scriptures. Hebrews 10, 26 through 28. Matthew 7, 21 through 23. The list goes on. And then this is the scripture everybody gets stuck on who always want to throw it in everybody's face about. This is the main scripture that is said that we don't, we can't lose our salvation. And that's, that's the chapter is John 10, 28 and 29. This is the one that everybody always want to throw in people's face about. See, it says that, you know, once you are his, he won't let you go and all this. Okay, what does John 10, 28 mean? In this verse, Jesus expands on the metaphor he used earlier in this chapter. Jesus explained that those who are his are like sheep. They only respond to the voice of their own shepherd. How a person reacts to Jesus proves they are or are not part of his flock. See, first of all, before I go further, we are talking about true Christians. Those who truly belong to Christ. Those who are part of Jesus' flock. Cannot be taken away. We are talking about the true set apart ones. Not those who claim they are saved and always saved. Not those who think they are born again on earth. Not hypocrites. Not lukewarmers. Which is called Laodiceas. Those who lack the mystery. The true mystery. Of God's word. Those who are living a hypocrisy life. Those who are still going to so called church on Sundays. No we're not talking about them. We are talking about true Christians in John 10, 28 and 29. True set apart ones. True Nazarites. Those who are spirit begotten. That's what this scripture, this, this is what that is pertaining to, people. This statement is a crucial part of our understanding of the gospel. Jesus has already made it clear that there are only two categories of people, spiritually speaking. Those who are in and those who are out. Those two groups are separated by Jesus Christ. Who is the door? Those who belong to Christ are safe from being taken away as a wolf might grab a sheep in the wild. Here, Jesus uses the same Greek root word found in his description of a wolf who snatches a sheep, which is harpazo. Those who are part of Jesus' flock cannot be taken away. Jesus also makes a crystal clear, unmistakable reference to the nature of the eternal life he offers. It is permanent and irrevocable. Jesus' literal words in Greek are all may. I cannot pronounce all this, but it's saying that it's, it's speaking in terms and somewhat like saying all the ages or for all time. I'm going to say this. Okay, get down them say the eternal life granted by Jesus to his sheep cannot and will not be ever stolen, revoked, or lost. People, this John 10, 28 and 29, that everybody idiots who or ignorant people who don't know scripture that's using this as an excuse to continue to believe that you can't use your salvation. This scripture is pertaining to his true sheep. Those who, okay, once you are saved, <coughs> and for some reason, like when the great tribulation comes, you got those that may fall out of faith. You got those that may go back into their old ways because of the trials and tribulations that they may have to endure, that may come about. We don't know how things may roll. It's been people who have lost their salvation. 
Now, of course, the true church may not be part of the great tribulation, but you still have people who may be tempted to be turned away and go back into their ways and not and, and not be uh, believers again. That is possible. But his true church, see, see, once once you lose your salvation, it's a possibility you might have been faking all along. You know, it's a possibility that you might have, you know, decided to be right back, God, and you had a taste of it, and you, you was on the right path, and then all of a sudden you just decided to say, I don't want to. See, it, it's a deliberate thing that we do. If you deliberately say, I don't want to serve God no more, I want to go do this or go do that. Once you do that, that's it. Because you cannot. He died for us that one time. It's it, you can't. He died for us, so that's it. He forgave you, and he snatched you away from the world to be one of part of his family, be one of his. And then you, within years or whatever days, to I don't know how long it might have been. You just decided to say, "Well, I don't want to serve God no more. I want to go back to my old ways. It's moving too slow, or whatever the case may be." That's it. You can't have a taste of the glory and then turn around and say, well, I don't want it no more. I want to go back to my old ways. How dare you? No, you just lost it. <coughs> and there's no more room for crucifixion. He, he came down for you twice. That's it. And that's what this is saying, people. Once you are saved and always saved, is, that's not it. Now, once, once you are saved, you better continue to stay on the right path because we are still fleshly formed. We are still carnal. We still have carnal minds, people. Second Corinthians 4, 3, 4 speaks on concealed to believers. Luke 18, Matthew 15, John 13. These scriptures are talking about the vast majority who don't have the spirit or the perception to understand God's holy word. You know, a lot of people not going to get it. So going back to this guy channel, uh, Good Hope, he's, 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 Teaching something that he don't have no understanding about. Just like the majority. And like I say, with this channel, you know, it has no views because people don't understand it. I have one of the, well, somebody that was in the comments arguing and disagreeing about how to be born again. So when people come across this channel and they see these videos, they are not going to recommend other people to watch it. They're going to probably thumbs down it and then that's that. So, but when you have other channels like Good Hope who's spreading lies and, and because everybody may believe what he's saying because he think what he's saying is true. Of course, people is going to agree to it because that's what they believe. They don't, they don't believe what this channel is bringing. They only believe what, this, what Satan is deceiving the world with. So any lies that people are, 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 are agreeing with, that's what they're going to pick up on. They're they going to get their pen and pad. And they're going to shout hallelujah. And they're going to give them thumbs up and donations because that's what they agree to. That's what they know. And they don't want that to break apart they, but like I said it's only because it's meant for people not to understand and the only way if you really want to understand the truth is unless you go to God and ask for the truth but until then you're going to be stuck and lost you're going to be stuck and lost until you it is given to know the mysteries of the kingdom of God if you, if you have not been given to know the mysteries, you're going to be teaching false scriptures, false lies like this channel, Good Hope. So I'm just letting you know, let's get it together, y'all. Let's stop the last with, with uh, spreading the gospel. Let's stop with the last.